And uh, uh, each time they came by, either their machine guns or something like that, uh, I could still hear pings going through the metal of the fuselage of the plane. And eventually, uh, we got to the English coast, and uh, all the engines were shot out except one. And uh, we finally crashed in the English Channel in the month of February, February 16, 1943. The water was cold, and uh, the plane, when we hit the ground, the water broke half in two. Uh, and the rubber dinghy was open, but one was all shot up. <clears throat> so we had only one dinghy to go to. So it was lucky. I can remember we jumped out of the radio hatch. Three of us got out of 10. We jumped out of the radio hatch, and uh, uh, lucky the one dinghy was there, and the three of us got in the dinghy. In the meantime, here comes the German fighters again, the strafers. And they strafed us about. Makes it a little emotional. Uh, they uh, passed by a few times, about two or three times, strafing the plane. Even though we were in the water, we had nothing to uh, combat, uh, uh, combat with or uh, save ourselves. And then finally, the German fighters left. In the meantime, I could hear the uh, two or three of, of the fellows that were able to get out of the plane hollered for help, or you cannot help anybody in the English Channel in the month of February. High waves, cold, and the waves were so high, I think at times I saw ships at the bottom of the uh, English Channel while we were on top of the wave. <clears throat> and then we three did have uh, uh, rubber life preservers on, and we we're in the dinghy. We were turned over by four or five times because of the waves. And then after 16 hours, we were shot down about 12 o'clock, 12 or 1 o'clock uh, that day, February 16th. We coasted to the coast of France. And uh, we were couldn't stand up or walk. You can imagine being cooped up or in the water for 16 hours, not being able to walk and so forth. We finally were able to crawl out of the dinghy. I remember we cut the dinghy up with a knife or something that we had so the Germans would not find our location. So we had to start walking. And we walked for maybe an hour, two hours, and uh, we could hear somebody holler, somebody, about three or four of them hollering, uh, halt, 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 meaning that the Germans knew that we were in there area and they could see us. So they came up and they captured us then, right there. Then they put us on the truck and then from there we were transported to uh, uh, Paris, France. And they put us in the, uh, uh, in a cell. When they slammed those, uh, slammed those great big steel, steel doors in that uh, Bastille, Sound like the world had come to an end.